This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. When designing an access table and therefore building it, it's important not only that you get the correct fields and field names, but also that you then assign the correct data types to each of those fields. Now, unlike a spreadsheet where you can just type what you like in a cell, in a database, you need to define before you start to enter data what each of those fields is going to hold. So what kind of data is each of those fields going to hold? Now, if we make use of the address book underscore data types database, which is in your working folder, you'll find that we have our TBL contacts in there. And if we open up the TBL contacts in design view, which we can do by right clicking it and choosing design view, we'll see all the fields that we entered previously. And currently, all of them have the same data type. They have a text data type. That is, they will accept text values. And by text, we mean pretty much any character, any letter, any number, any character off the keyboard, so any punctuation characters. That's why it's the default data type. And pretty much, it's likely to be the most common data type that you use. Now, there are other data types, and you change from data type to data type by choosing the drop down arrow here. They are fixed. You cannot create your own data types. You cannot add any more. These are the only data types acceptable within Microsoft Access. We have text. We have memo, which effectively is a self-expanding text field because the text field itself is actually limited to 255 characters. If that's not going to be enough for the data you want to hold, then we can go for memo field. If the field is only to contain numbers and no text characters at all, then we can choose number field. If the field is to contain a date or a time, then we choose date time. If the field is to contain money, then we choose currency. If you want the field to auto generate its own numbers, then there is an auto number option. And we'll see that in action a little later when we look at the primary key. There is a yes, no field type. So if the field is Boolean, that is, it only has an on or an off choice. So is this an on field? Is it off? Is it yes? Is it no? Is it true? Is it false? So there's only one or other choices. Then there is a data type called yes, no. If you want to embed objects from outside of Access, so perhaps you'd like to embed an Excel file or embed a Word document or embed an image, then we can select Olay object. Olay standing for object linking and embedding. There is a hyperlink data type. So if the contents of the field could be hyperlinked, so they're a web address or they're an email address, then you can change the data type to hyperlink. And that will then already change the data into a link. There is an attachment data type to allow you to attach external objects. There is a calculated data type, which is a field that effectively works itself out. So it's not going to control what you type in or what you can type in. It actually calculates itself. And then there's a nifty little lookup wizard, which again we'll explore in a future lesson. So having decided on your field names, as we have done down the left, you then need to decide what the correct data type is for that particular field. Selecting the right data type will help control the data that is being entered into your database and therefore help reduce errors. First name is text. The first name can contain pretty much any character, as can the surname, the house, the street, a line to, town, region, zip code, country, telephone. Now the temptation there is to choose number from the data type because the telephone only contains numbers, only contains digits. However, depending on how you write the number out, it could contain spaces, could contain open and closed brackets. It will highly likely contain a leading zero. Well, none of those options are available if you were to choose number. So even telephone number is actually a text field because it can contain other characters other than digits. So it's not in reality a number. Same goes for the cell, which is, we call it a number, but it's not a number. Email, well, we could turn that into a hyperlink field. That way, the email address that is entered will automatically be hyperlinked. The same for web, that could be a hyperlink field. Facebook ID, that's going to be text because that could contain characters and numbers. Date of birth, 
is a date time field. Notes, well, they could be quite massive, so we'll set those to memo. That way there is no restriction on the number of characters that can be placed in the field. You will find that though the temptation here is, well, let's make all our text fields memo because they could be that big. You cannot sort by a memo field. You cannot search properly in a memo field and you cannot index a memo field. So although there might be a temptation there to make all your text fields memo, there are drawbacks to that. So only make the larger text fields that are likely to contain more than 255 characters into memo fields. Then we have our flag field, which is just going to be a yes, no. So having set the data types for our fields, you can see that we actually haven't got all of the data types in use, which isn't always a bad thing. You don't have to use all the data types every time. You need to use the right data type for the right field. Otherwise, you'll find yourself hitting restrictions on when you're trying to enter the data. So you choose your data type from the drop down. You choose the correct data type to match the field that you've entered. You will find a lot of the time you are choosing text as that data type, which is why it defaults to text. And then you need to change if it's something else. We have text for text up to 255 characters, memo for text, unlimited file size, number for numeric only fields. So if that field's ever going to contain a leading zero or spaces or brackets, then that is not really a number. Date time for a date or a time field, currency for a field that will contain money, auto number for a self generating numeric field, yes no for a yes no on off true false type field olay object for object linking and embedding so you can embed objects hyperlink for a linking field web addresses and email addresses attachment to attach files calculated field for fields that calculate themselves and a lookup wizard that will actually give you a little drop down arrow to help data entry but we look at that on its own in its own little lesson so having chosen the correct data types for our fields we would then save the table. File and save, because we're saving changes to the structure of the table.